what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's uh if you can tell i don't know if you see that but uh the weather's really bad it's supposed to rain like all day and so i still wanted to fish because it's saturday and this is the most time i have so um i'm gonna hit up just multiple bridges i'm just gonna drive around and just hit up bridges i got some frozen blue crab we're gonna toss them out and just kind of go on a little bridge adventure and uh, see if we can hook up into something. So stay tuned. Still kind of frozen. Oh, they're very frozen, actually. All right, and I guess I'll just try to. So the goal with the blue crab is it could be not really sheep's head with a piece that big, but like black drum, red drum. Um, and really, I guess, <laughs> anything else that eats crabs and stuff like that. So the first bridge was terrible, but uh, it's not raining now. So I did come to a second bridge, packing up my stuff now. And uh, I'm gonna try out from underneath the bridge first and uh, just kind of cast it around and have a little bit more room. And then if it starts raining, I'll go ahead and tuck up underneath it. I'm going out to that bridge and it's way further than I thought. It looked closer, but it's it's taken a while to get out there. But I mean, this thing only goes like four to five miles an hour or something like that. But just judging, I was just trying to judge off the distance just by looking at it. And I guess it was like way further than I thought it was. But I still have see that yeah I still have uh, like 75% so we should be good as long as I have 50% to get back we should be good
Okay guys, so of course the audio stopped on the most important part of the video. But I just wanted to kind of talk you through what I was thinking here. Um, basically I cast it out near those wood planks that go down the boat columns there. And yeah, when I set the hook right there, I felt a little bit of a twitch, but I couldn't tell if it was just maybe the current moving the line, you know? And so I just pulled, and on that first tug, it was like, okay, I have a snag. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I felt the, the weight of it actually move. And then you start feeling those head shakes. And then right now I'm pulling away from the wood because I'm afraid it's gonna swim in there and get tangled. So I'm like freaking out right now. <laughs> and uh, this is all on my old catfish setup. So this is my catfish rod and reel. It's all made for salt, uh, fresh water. But um, I've still been using it for now while it lasts. And uh, it's still holding up. And luckily I had 65 pound braid on it and 60 pound leader. <laughs> and so the net is tangled up with a lure because on the way on the kayak, that lure right there got stuck in the net. Completely forgot about that, so I had to quickly cut it while also trying to keep tension on the line to keep this fish on. But it's quite the battle. Um, around here is when I start getting it closer and I start to see it, and then I'm getting really freaking out. This is like when the adrenaline really started pumping. You can kind of see it pop up there. So this ended up taking me, geez, four or five attempts with the net. Because the fish was so strong, it, as soon as it would see the net, it would just take back off again. Every time the fish kicked off like that, I'm just praying that the line doesn't snap. It was, it was like a panic attack every time it turned around and just kicked. So there it goes again. Once it saw the net, it just took off. I had the drag loosened up just a little bit to allow it to pull the line and not pop the leader. I think that was the third or fourth attempt. I think I finally got it on this one. There he goes. And this is a big net, luckily. This is for big flathead and blue catfish back when I lived in Indiana. And so now we'll get a better view and the audio will kick on right now. Wow. Incredible. Okay, okay, I'm out of breath from finding the fish and just like being way too excited. I've never caught a fish that big. I've never even caught a catfish that big, like back in Indiana. Oh my God, that was incredible. Okay, it, it, it was a store-bought blue crab. cut this chunk off. I cut it in half. And I have it on a 5 aught circle hook. 
I'm just casting underneath this bridge. Insane. That's man, what a rush. That's insane.